Hello, hello friends. Kim here and welcome on back to my happy place. Today's unboxing video, you guys, is of a slightly smaller Diamond Art Club kit that I have in my stash. So at the moment, I actually have quite a lot of what I would call fairly large diamond paintings kitted up. And so I decided that I needed to try and find something smaller in my stash. And this image here is one of the smaller ones that I do have. So today's unboxing, you guys, is going to be of this. Um, I would call it a sort of dark art piece because the artist is Sarah Richter. This one is called Nahimana. It's a round roll diamond painting in the size 50.7 times 50.7. So as I'm sure many of you know, that is definitely a smaller Diamond Art Club kit. I'm not sure if you guys have been noticing, but holy moly, Diamond Art Club are releasing so many super large kits at the moment. So, <laughs> so this is really something unusual. You don't see these smaller kits um, so much anymore. But anyway, let's get on with it. So basically, guys, as you know, my goals for this year, and I say goals lightly because I don't want to be too strict about them, are that I must have two Diamond Art Clubs, two Ever Moments, and one Dreamer Designs kitted up at any one stage. Those are the figures I sort of put in my head at the beginning of the year so that I could try and work through my stash, um, or the stash that I have from those companies where I just have so much. And I have a ton from DAC, I have a ton from Ever Moment, and I have a mini ton from Dreamer Designs. I then also will try and have, the idea was to try and have two kits from other small stores kitted up as well, making it a total of seven. So basically, it is time for me to kit up my next Diamond Art Club kit, because at the moment, I only have one from DAC that is kitted up and that I'm working on, and that is Aries by Auclair Studios. So today we are going to do an unboxing of this one so that I can kit it up and start working on it soon. So guys, as I mentioned to you when I read the stats, this is indeed a round roll diamond painting. I'm also happy to be kitting up around because I'm working on a lot of squares at the moment. With Diamond Art Club, I'm sure many of you know how you can tell if the kit inside the box is round or squares. It's very, very simple because it tells you. There is a pink round circle and it says round diamonds. If this was a, a square drill kit, this would be a blue square and it would say square drills. So without further ado, guys, give me a minute just to open up this box and to get everything onto my table. And then we will quickly go through the contents of the box. What I want to spend a bit more time looking at is the canvas itself and the actual image and the rendering. And then a very quick look at the drills. So guys, I'll be back in two secs. Right, friends, welcome on back. So on your screen right now, you are seeing the contents of the box. Obviously, I have the canvas at the very bottom there. I did manage to get the canvas onto the table without having a single peek at the image. So when I reveal it, I am going to be as surprised as you guys to see what it looks like. So then we are also just going to take a very, very quick look at the actual contents of the box here, guys. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because you guys or the majority of you guys know exactly what comes in a Diamond Art Club kit. If you are new, just know that you do get this thank you note and this um, pamphlet. If you have a look inside, there are diamond painting instructions, there are links to social media, and there is a discount code in here as well for you to use. So definitely take a look at that if you are new. Over and above that, you do obviously get your toolkit. This is a premium toolkit. I'm just holding it up to the camera for those of you who are new. You can have a look what is included in the toolkit because I am not going to take everything out. I have taken out two small things just to show you over here, the things that people are often interested in. But this toolkit contains everything you need. If you are new, just know that you do not need to buy anything extra. Everything you need to complete this canvas is in this toolkit. Now, what else came in the toolkit was obviously the washi tape. People often like to see that, so I'm just holding that up to the camera to have a look. This is just sort of a fairly plain washi tape with different colored stripes on it. And then, of course, we get the cover minder. Um, DAC have said that they are going to be discontinuing, um, including cover minders in the kits. I have a lot of these at the moment. I don't know that I specifically have this color, so very, very pretty pink color as you can see your magnet and everything is on the back so that is the cover minder that came in this kit 
Um, then you do also get this very small sticker. This is a sticker that most people, including myself, tend to use on the boxes. So the way I store my boxes, Diamond Art Club um, doesn't have an image at the very bottom of the box. So the way I store my boxes, this comes in handy because I put the sticker on the very bottom of the box. Then guys, you obviously get your sticker sheet with your larger image. This is to be used in your logbook because as you can see here at the top, you can input your start date and your end date. It gives you the name of the kit and the artist. Then obviously the image and then the stats are there at the bottom. I've read those to you as well. I will recap those when we have a look at the canvas itself. Then of course you get your sticker sheet, which is here. This is divine, you guys. It only has 26 colors. I am very happy about that. <laughs> I think you guys know I do not need a shit ton of colors in my kits. In fact, I sometimes find that when there are like a ton of colors, you know, the confetti gets progressively worse. So I don't mind that this one only has 26 colors because this is a much smaller kit than a lot of the Diamond Art Club releases. Just to talk to you guys about the ABs. Have a look at the numbers that are under 150, you guys. So there are three in this kit, numbers one, two, and three. Those are all, their DMC numbers are all under 150, which means that these are your AB drills. So like I say, three AB drills included in this kit. And just a last thing about the stickers. They are obviously stickers. They are pre-cut, as you can see there. So very easy to put onto your storage containers. And the other nice thing to note is if you have a look at the size of them, they are pretty small, which I like because they then fit nicely onto the Elizabeth Ward storage containers or onto those other ones that a lot of people have. I have them as well. Um, they come in those um, carry cases with the zip and they have the sort of cylindrical shaped um, tubs. Those also, I mean, these labels fit very nicely onto those as well. And then of course you do get your drills. Uh, let me just show you this side. So as you can see, your drills do have the kit code and the name of the kit on there. So if you are someone who stores your drills separately, you don't have to worry about labeling this bag because you will know that this bag goes with this specific kit. We will take a closer look at some of the drills towards the end of this video. I think most of you know that I don't go through each and every drill, but in this case, maybe I will just hold all the drills up to the camera so that you guys can see the color, mainly just because there are not that many. There are only 26 colors in this kit, so it makes it a little bit easier to do. Right, now moving on to the actual canvas itself. It's a beautiful canvas. It is soft and velvety. As you can see, it has no damage. Yes, it does have slight wrinkling in it, but that is just because this kit has obviously, this canvas, I should say, has obviously been rolled up in its box for a while now. That will flatten out. I'm not worried about that. What I do like, obviously, is how soft and velvety the, ca the canvas is. And then the fact that, as always, with a lot of good stores at the moment, there are scalloped edges and poked holes. This stops the canvas from fraying and it stops little bits of material from getting onto your, your drill field and onto your glue. So that is pretty much all I need to say about the canvas, guys. Now, let's take a look at the image itself and the rendering. As I said at the beginning of this video, I haven't looked at it, so we're going to be looking at it together. So here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks stunning. And I love the size. This is just a small size that is going to be quick and easy to work on. Let me just push her up and down a little bit. Not that you need too much of that because like I say, this canvas is not specifically large. Okay, guys, so I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. Um, yeah, this one should hopefully work up fairly quickly without too much stress or aggravation. <laughs> I can see nice areas of color blocking, but we will get to that in a second. Let me just very quickly run through the stats with you again. So this is a round drill kit. It came with or comes with 26 colors. A total of three ABs are included. Um, what else can I tell you? The size, the size was 50.7 times 50.7 centimeters. So this is by an artist, Sarah Richter, who is one of my favorite artists. She does a lot of 
Yes, it's dark art, but it's not completely dark. It's not like Christopher Lavelle or Ennis Guerrero. Some of her pieces are, yes, a little bit dark, but they also have a lot of sort of fantasy elements to them. So she really is one of my favorite artists. I love the stuff she comes out with. I also think she does quite a lot of dragons, if I'm not mistaken. So, so yes, this one I just had to buy when I saw it, and I'm very happy that I did, because this is going to be the perfect piece for me to kit up and work on now, just to have something a little bit quicker and easier in my stash. Okay, so having a look at the symbols, mm, should I bring it? Let me bring the camera down so that you guys can have a look at the symbols and some of the color blocking areas, and then we will move on to the drills. Okay, guys, I've decided to just show you a section where there are dark backgrounds and light backgrounds and a little bit of color in terms of the red so that you can see how nice and clear the symbols are. So obviously on the light background, like you can see here, the white and the beige, the symbols are, paint, uh, are painted, are printed in black, so they are very clear and easy to see. And then in your darker sections, like with the black background here, your symbols are obviously printed in white, so again, very easy to see. If you have a look at some of the other colors here, sort of a, 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 it's like a yellow, but more of a neutral sort of skin tone color, and you have your reds and all the rest of it, the printing is just as clear because obviously on the reds that is considered a darker background and so the printing is in white and on the lighter background here again the printing is in black. So very easy to see the symbols. I'm having a look. I can't see anything that is going to be a problem but that is very standard for Diamond Art Club. Um, if you are someone who doesn't work with a light pad or you don't like to work with a light pad, you definitely won't need a light pad when you work on DAC's kits. The symbols are very clear. I use a light pad just because it's habit and I love it and I find that irrespective of the clarity of the symbols, I just like working with it because it just gives me, or I just feel like I'm getting less eye strain because in general with diamond paintings, obviously the symbols may be clear, but they are always small. <laughs> So I just find that a light pad does help with that. Right, while the camera's down here, let's also take a look at sort of color blocking versus confetti. So I can see that there are some confetti areas. You know, have a look over here, for example, there's confetti going on here. But it's not hectic. You know, Diamond Art Club's version of confetti is not hectic like some other, you know, um, companies that I've ordered from. There are then sort of areas of color blocking as well, like you can see here on her skin, here's quite a bit of sort of color blocking. If we move up, you'll see some more. Also in the black, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, yeah, it's more line blocking, like you'll be able to use your multiplacer here, but in lines. Then you have color blocking here again. Even in the sections where it looks like, sorry, I'm going to show you one more thing. This from afar sort of looked like a big clump of color blocking, but if you have a look at it, it actually isn't. But it's also not confetti. It's what I would call line, line blocking, because you can get out a multiplacer and you can do a fair amount of placing of drills without having to change your drill color a lot, but you are going to be placing your drills in lines. I think you can see that here. So, I mean, as I'm looking over the canvas in general, I actually can't say to you guys that there are huge areas of color blocking on this canvas because there actually aren't. There's actually quite a bit of confetti and at the very best, um, line blocking. Also, okay, bear with me. I hope you don't get sick. I want to show you something else. Um, going, sorry, just trying to get the, where are we now? I'm trying to get the eye in. There you go. So there you can also see like quite a bit of color changes and so on. And then in the top right hand corner, it's not on the screen now, there's also quite a bit of confetti as well. So definitely not a color blocking dream, this one. So if you do like confetti, I think you would be happy with this piece. Then lastly, before we move on to talking about the drills, just to mention the plastic cover to you guys, it is fairly thin. It's not thick and heavy like an Evermoment plastic cover. Um, Evermoment have my favorite plastic covers because I quite like the, th the thickness of it. This one is definitely thinner. If you wanted to use the washi tape method to section off your canvases and then cut the, um, the cover, I think that would probably be okay. Um, it is slightly on the thinner side, so I may just re remove this plastic cover and use release paper, but I will see. 
Also, just checking the, the glue, which I do sometimes do, but probably isn't necessary because with Diamond Art Club, I've never had a glue problem. So anyway, guys, the glue is nice and sticky. The, the plastic cover is fairly thin, but should be okay if you like to section off your diamond paintings. Right, now on that note, let me take out the drills and let's just have a look at those quickly before I sign off. Right gang, because there aren't a hell of a lot of drills in this specific canvas, I am going to just hold the drills up to the camera so that you can see the colors and you can see the DMC numbers. We will just run through them fairly quickly. So there's a brown 433, then you get your 310, three bags of 310, 436, 938, two bags of 938, 898, another bag of 898, and 434. So obviously a lot of browns in that specific strand. Those are the bigger bags. And then just getting to the smaller bags, some more browns coming up. This is the 435, 814, which is a ready color, 739. Then you have a sort of gray, bluish color, 414, 3371. Here's our first AB. This is an AB that Diamond Art Club loves, including in all their kits. This is the 141. Then we have the 712, 498. Another AB, you guys, this is a red colored AB. That's the 115. Oh, I like this color. This is the 3340. 608, not too many of those. 352, 3341, 353, and then the last AB, I think, if memory serves me correctly, this is a 103. Then you get the 3830, 3865, 347, 3778. And lastly, the 758. So guys, that pretty much wraps it up. As you could see, not a ton of colors, which was quite nice because like I say, I could hold it up to the camera, which I don't always do. I actually think with the Diamond Art Club kits, it's fairly easy to hold them up to the camera because everything does come in a strand and it's fairly easy to just move through the strands. Um, with some of the other kits I work on, it's not always that easy to do that. And when there are 65 colors, it can become a bit of an issue. Anyway, gang, I hope you've enjoyed checking out this video today. Um, like I say, I will be kitting it up soon and hopefully it won't take me all that long. But having said that, I do work on seven kits at once. So nothing ever takes me, you know, nothing. I, I Let me put it this way. I don't ever get through kits very fast just because of how many I'm working on. Guys, also just another heads up to those of you who remember from many, many moons ago, I actually started a Facebook page. It is called My Happy Place with Kim E. It is a page and not a group. I don't often talk about it in my videos, but I was thinking that now and then I should actually mention it and remind you guys. If you haven't followed it, please go onto Facebook and follow it. Like I say, it isn't a group because I just simply don't have time to, to admin a group but it is a page i do share uh, diamond painting progress photos there i share images that i'm looking to buy and i do interact with you guys it is interactive now and then it will go through a bit of a slump i'm not always hugely active on it just depending on what's happening in my life but it is a nice place where we can chat about diamond painting we can talk about latest images that are being released we talk about who's buying what and like i say i do also show progress photos and chat about general diamond painting things so for the, those of you who are interested like i said it's called my happy place with kim e so please go and check it out other than that, if you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a big thumbs up. It does help to support my channel, and obviously it helps me to know that I'm making diamond painting content that you guys are enjoying. So, guys, thank you so much for choosing to hang out with me today and for sharing in my joy of this great canvas. Happy diamond painting, friends. Toodaloo!